In this video, we're going to look at the topic of the carbon cycle. There are lots of different processes which add and take away carbon from the atmosphere. And we're going to talk about those processes and we're going to look at the carbon cycle as a whole. First of them, let's start off with photosynthesis. You do need to know about photosynthesis for this course. You have to understand and be able to tell us the word equation for photosynthesis. So plants take in water and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. They use the photons of energy from the sunlight to convert those into oxygen and glucose. So plants are what we call autotrophic, meaning that they produce their own food. That's the glucose. The oxygen they produce, we obviously use that for respiration. So these plants are also at the bottom of food chains. We call them the producers. So we can see then that all of the energy that feeds up the food chains is from the sun. Okay, so photosynthesis is the process by which autotrophic plants produce their own food using their energy from the sun. So we can see here that carbon dioxide is taken out of the atmosphere. At the moment, we're worried about the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And lots of scientists tell us that this is making the earth heat up because it's a global warming heat trapping gas. So plants are useful to help us keep the carbon balance. If we don't have plants and trees and forests, processes such as deforestation start to affect the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But there are other processes then we'll go on to have a look at. So plants make carbon compounds. So it's not just the process of photosynthesis, they take it in, they use that to make up their carbon compounds. So if an organism comes along and eats the plant, it will take in the carbon dioxide or the carbon from the plant. That moves us on into the food chain. So if this animal, this little poor mouse here, had eaten the carbon from the plant and now it's been eaten by the snake, that snake will then take on the carbon compounds from the mouse. So they can be passed on through different organisms. Okay, this is another process. This process adds carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and this is called respiration. So animals and plants, when we respire, give carbon back. Okay, we take in oxygen and we give carbon back into the atmosphere. So another process which adds carbon dioxide is this. The key word here is decomposition. So the decomposition of animals, the breaking down of the animals, it adds the carbon compounds. Now the microorganisms, the microbes that digest them, they will take them in. They also respire to give off carbon into the atmosphere, but also they can be taken into the ground as well. When they're taken into the ground, plants can then use them whilst they're growing as well. We can see a cycle happening here. There are other processes we need to know about. When microbes respire, they, receive, they give off carbon dioxide, just as when we respire. Okay, these pictures are to represent combustion. Now, combustion is something that happens using hydrocarbon fuels and gives off carbon dioxide, the process of combustion. So, these are one of the huge problems, burning of fossil fuels, which can lead to these global warming gases, carbon dioxide and sometimes methane, being in the atmosphere and the earth is hotting up, the temperature is getting hotter. So, we can see that this is a man-made source of that pollution. Okay, so these processes, when we come together and bring them together, give us the carbon cycle. We can see a picture of this here. So we can see that they move from the air to the land to organisms, and it is a continuous process. It's recycled. Carbon is constantly recycled between these processes, and you need to understand, understand the key words, and be able to describe the carbon cycle.